Hola and welcome back to this Football Manager 2018 series called Being Bielsa. It's episode two and we're about to play our first league game of the season. I look a bit of a strange colour today. I've gone a bit of a purple colour and it's not because I've drank too much Ribena. I've not recorded a video in the evening in this room for a while and I forgot how the lighting kind of is a bit odd. Yeah, I, I need to get a light box. That's on my list. That's on my to-do list. I need to get some sort of light box to balance the, the the lighting. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. I hope you're looking forward to today's episode. We're taking on Millwall, and it's always a bit of a, a clash when Leeds play Millwall. And I'm not talking really about on the pitch. I'm talking about off the pitch. I don't want to stereotype. Leeds fans, Millwall fans coming together. Things can get a bit tasty, but we're going to be focusing on on the pitch we've had a fantastic pre-season i've started to get things together the system together of course in real life bielsa is playing some wonderful football i'm recording this just a few hours after leeds beat norwich 3-0 away from home what a win what a comfortable win they're going to breeze the league by the looks of it if they can keep things up if they can keep that intensity up now i've not made any changes to the squad however Thanks to people's advice on episode one, I have changed things tactically. I've also transfer listed three players because someone said there's a few players that have basically been shoved aside and they're not really being considered by Bielsa. I've not sold them, but I've made them available to be bought. One of which is Anita, but I feel like I'm going to need him because we don't really have much backup at fullback. Uh, Janssen is actually suspended for the first couple games, which is, I, I think, why he didn't actually play in the first couple of games, but he did play today in real life against Norwich. I think Cooper's got injured. So the defence is a little bit all over the place for Leeds at the moment. And, and I'm actually going to be doing what Bielsa has done. Because remember, I'm being Bielsa. I have to do what he does. So I'm going to be playing Berardi at centre-back. few people said uh, that Phillips plays in the defence midfield position. I think that's the consent, consent, the consent, the consent, I can't say it. The consensus. Is that is that how you say it? Yeah, I think so. He plays defensive midfield. Some people were saying Click also plays alongside him in defensive midfield, but I'm actually going to play him like this because I think I think he's a bit more advanced and he's got a few goals, hasn't he? I'm going to play him as a Mazala on attack. So he's he's like a box to box midfielder, but sort of drifts around out wide and in and you know just gets up and down really. Saez is going to play as an advanced playmaker on attack. We've got the two wingers in Pablo Hernandez and Alioski. Roof has been excellent for them so far and has been good for us in pre-season. But the, well, that's the team. You can see the team in front of you there. Uh, the bench for today will include Blackman, Anita, Lewis Baker, Forshaw, Stuart Dallas, Jack Harrison and Patrick Bamford. Pre-season has been quite impressive. Of course, we, we started in that episode one with a 1-1 draw. I then added another friendly in. And we completely destroyed this semi-professional team from Spain. I feel sorry for them. We, we, we won 12-0. Roof scored five goals in the first half before I subbed him off. He got a 10.0 performance. Absolute thrashing. Uh, the system, I know it's against a really weak team, but the system seems to be working quite well. I think this is a good win against Getafe. 2-1, thanks to two goals from Roof. I feel like we could have done a bit better against Crew, But remember, this is pre-season. And it's all about fitness. And I do a lot of subs, so it does kind of... The second half is always a little bit, you lose the flow, really, because everyone's being subbed on and off. But we won this 1-2-1 one, one, nevertheless, and we've just beat Cadiz in our last friendly as well. 3-1, Barry Douglas, Samu Saiz with a good goal as well, and Berardi scoring all in the first half. All the goals were in the first half, and we managed to, to win 3-1. So we're taking on Melwood today. I'm just going to show you where we're predicted to finish in the league. We're actually predicted to finish down in 8th. Now, I suspect when FM19 comes out, Leeds will be predicted to finish higher than that. But remember, this is just an updated database on FM18. So we're kind of predicted. I mean, predictably, I'm using the word predict here a lot. Stoke, West Brom, Swansea all up there as the relegated teams from the Premier League. Aston Villa as well. They spent lots of money over the last couple of seasons and they've only recently been relegated as well. Middlesbrough up there. Derby always tend to do quite well in the top half of the table. Norwich. A lot of teams have, I mean, a lot of these teams have played many seasons in the Premier League in the not too distant past. Leeds. I kind of it's a long time ago since they were in the Premier League. I know they're a big club in regards to the support and their history, but in regards to right now, you know, they've spent time in League One a few years ago. They've spent lots of seasons in the Championship. They haven't played in the Premier League for a long time. But our aim is to get them back to the top. Thanks to everyone that has suggested tactical tweaks. This is what I'm utilising now. Hopefully 
that will work well. I was going to go over very high line because that's what someone said I should use. Uh, however, it, I'm just getting balls knocked over the top and strikers running onto it. So I've gone for a slightly higher defensive line. Let's get on with this then. Millwall are favourites uh, because I think they're at home. But if we can get any points, of, well, any point away from home is good in my eyes. That old cliche. Try and get at least a point away from, from home. You're going to be very happy, aren't you? I'm sure some of you are wondering how often this series will be, how often the episodes will be. Basically, once the FM08 series is out of the way, which should be quite soon, then this will become a little bit more regular. Although, bear in mind, I'm away for the first week of September, so bear, bear with me a bit. Likewise, I'd like feedback. Uh, how often do you want me to do the episodes? So, do you want an episode every five matches, or every, uh, every month, or every three months? How often do you want these episodes to be? Do you want to see as many matches as possible, basically? Or do you want to see not not that many matches and just try and get through as quickly as possible that's up to you obviously the more i have to play without videos then there's going to be less videos if that makes sense let's get on with this first league game i'm a bit nervous because i this tactic it worked well in pre-season but i don't really know what sort, what sort of opposition i was up against perhaps it was quite easy and we might really struggle now <laughs> bloody hope not i hope this works uh i really hope so because I want to play the Bielsa system that he's playing at Leeds, and this is pretty much it, I I think. As best as, best as I can, can do it anyway. Zero shots in the game so far, after 10 minutes. That's headed away by Ailing, and now Hernandez. Maybe we can break. Come on, Han Hernandez. Pablo Hernandez. There he goes, all by himself. He's still going. Look at him. Whoa. Crossed in. Headed back. It's in. Wow, saves, what a got Hernandez. He didn't get the assist, but he deserves about 10 assists because what a run from Pablo Hernandez. And then Click headed it back to his midfield partner and Saiz smashes it home. Look at that run. What a brilliant run from the Spaniard. He is Spanish, isn't he? And so Saiz is Spanish. I'm pretty sure they're both Spanish. I should probably check. I'm paranoid now. One shot each in this game, but we've scored with our one shot, and it was only a half chance. What a brilliant, brilliant run from Hernandez. Here's Roof. Roof all by himself, but he's... that was <laughs> What was that? Saiz! Just lashes it wide. Good effort. Oh, I'm excited now. It settled my nerves a bit, that goal. He's picked up a yellow. Here come Millwall. This looks quite dangerous, and that's why that is a miss. That's a half chance. It was. I thought it looked. Well, it looked like a clear cut chance, but it wasn't. It's knocked up the pitch. Remember, Calvin Phillips and uh, you may have noticed Calvin Phillips and Berardi are both playing out of position. I'm training them up. So Berardi to be a centre back, Calvin Phillips to be a half back, which is a role that was suggested to me. They both don't like those roles, but they're playing there anyway. This is a chance for Millwall. Peacock Cat Farrell straight at him and he catches it. Defensively, we've been a little bit suspect, I think. We've picked up three yellows as well. What's going on, lads? The passion in the crowds is spilling over onto the pitch. Four yellow cards. Corner to Millwall. Crossed in. Knocked away. And now we can break again. Berardi. Berardi on the edge of the box. Knocks it long. Where? What? What was that? What was the point in doing that, Berardi? Morrison's throw. Oh, no. Penalty. Cooper. What are you doing? It's a push, apparently, and Scalak can equalise, and he smashes it home. Peacock Farrell went the right way, but it was just so powerful. That's disappointing, isn't it? They've actually been the better team. They've had eight shots to our four. It's a bit of a worry. I thought we'd be outplaying them by this stage. We've won a free kick. Hernandez into the box. Dangerous, straight at the keeper. Who was that? We've got five yellow cards. What is going on, guys? We've not got to get stuck in on. What are they playing at? I'm going to say I'm far from pleased. That's fired them up. I'm not happy. Look at this. The defence are awful. Five yellow cards. Cooper's obviously given away the penalty, so he's on a six. We've not been that great going forwards. Kemar Roof's not playing very well up front. Uh, I, I don't know what to do. Maybe we should go mixed passing. I'm trying to. I'm trying to be the. I'm. I'm being Bielsa. Maybe we'll be better in the second half. Yeah. Should we just go for it? I, I feel like I should make a sub. We've got Bielsa does. He can make some drastic subs. Like he probably would be the sort of chap to make three subs at half time. Um, but I don't really. I can't really make three subs in the. I'm going to bring Kevin Phillips off. He's on a yellow, and I feel that's a risky position. We've got Forshaw who can play there and actually can play there better. So I think that makes sense today. 
I will persist with Calvin Phillips in that position, but he's on a yellow in a position he doesn't really know, and that's just asking for trouble, I think. We've won a corner, crossed in. I've not really focused on set pieces so far. I've told my players who should take them, but I've not really done instructions. Here's Berardi. That's poor. What's he doing? Lads, where the positive vibe of that fantastic goal has just evaporated now. And here come Millwall. Oh, good defending ailing. And now Roof. Roof, all by himself, but he's got support now. With the Mazala in click coming forward. Click to Saiz. Surely, surely, yes! Great goal. Just, ah, oh, that was brilliant. What a brilliantly worked goal. I thought Saiz was going to shoot. If that was one of the older football managers, he definitely would have shot. But they've, they've sort of adjusted things a bit. So you see a, a few more passes across in the box. And he's just, ah, oh, that's brilliant play. He's taken every defender. Everyone is expecting him to shoot, and Click is wide open. Ah, oh, beautiful football. Beautiful. I'm going to stop banging on about it now. I'm tempted to kind of go to normal mentality rather than attacking. I think that's sensible. I'm sure Bielsa would would, would agree. What a performance from Sosa. I'm actually going to bring Kimar Roof on off for Bamford. We'll give him some game time for the last 35 minutes of this match. It certainly isn't over. They all have been good, haven't they? I'm just going to I'm going to shout some praise at the lads for that goal. I'm a bit worried about my defense with three yellow cards there. Uh-oh, free kick. Williams into the box for Mill. Let's head it away. Now we can clear. Come on Bamford. Patrick Bamford. Back to and oh, What are you doing there? What are No. Is that a second? Oh, no. What the hell? Cooper. <sighs> Gives away a penalty. And now he's sent off. Now he's suspended for the next match. Disaster. Absolutely. That's lucky I've got a sub to make. I can bring Anita on. He can probably play centre-back, can't he? Or Ailing can play. We can't have two players. We've got... Oh, no. We've got no natural centre-backs on the pitch. That's a disaster and a half. Anita's going to come on for... Oh, Saez has been brilliant. I'm going to take him off. Can Anita play centre-back? I think Ailing can play centre-back. Anita's... Oh, this is just not good, is it? This really isn't good. I'm going to pull these guys back. <laughs> He's going to go to support. I mean, what would Bielsa do in this situation? Would he be defensive? Or would he still go attacking? I don't know. He probably would still go and attack him, wouldn't he? But I'm, I'm going to have to do... I'm going to have to be sensible, lads. I just have to. Uh, I'll keep it on higher because we might be able to hit them on the counter. I'm going to go for that. Oh, why does, Why have you made it difficult for me, Cooper? Click. I said, oh, but they're going to get a red card through Tunny Click. This is, oh, I said it was tasty. Leeds versus Millwall matches. We've won a free kick. It's 10 versus 10 now, so it's not so bad. But I'm playing players out of position. That's, Ailing and Berardi as centre-backs together. It's not good. Free kick. And I, oh, I need a third goal to settle my nerves. Oh, tipped over the bar. Good effort. The second half's been much better, hasn't it? We've created four click-up chances. We should have scored more than two goals today. Here's Hernandez with the corner. Crosses it in. Not not the best corner. He's just smashed it to Morrison, hasn't he? That's not long, but there's no one up there for them. Can we hang on for this? Anita, back to Foreshaw. It's into the path. A click! Good effort off the post and almost rebounded off the goalkeeper and in. It's not been how I, th how I thought this game would be. I thought we'd play some nice football. We might win... I was hoping we'd win comfortably. It's not been. Red card, yellow cards, everything galore. We gave away a penalty. It's not been pretty, but we're a couple minutes away. We're in fact, we're 30 seconds away from three points away from home. This We, we have to battle. We're battling brilliantly. And I'm, I'm pleased. I'm overall pleased with this result, even if it was a bit chaotic. As long as we can hang on for 10 seconds, then I'll be pleased. <laughs> Players out of position galore. It's all good fun. And there's the final whistle. We've won our first game of the season 2 1. 10 against 10 at the end. It was like a war zone at times, that match. And Saiz was brilliant. He really was brilliant. He got. Oh, Click actually got man of the match. He got a goal and. They got a goal and assist each. I suppose because he stayed on till the end, he got man of the match. But both, both of them, brilliant. Absolutely. I'm not going to say that word again. Fantastic. And after one, there's no point even looking at the league table after one game, but we are fifth place. So next few games then, we've got Coventry in the Carabao Cup. We've got Hull City, Rotherham, Bristol City. I think this starts relatively easy. 
I fancy my chances against Hull, Rotherham, Bristol, Bristol City could be tough, Birmingham, Blackburn, Aston Villa. I think we have to show you that game. Next episode then will be against Aston Villa. Let me leave feedback for how many how often you want these episodes, but I'm I'm gonna do the Aston Villa game. I feel like I have to do that. If you can remember to hit that like button, it'd be very much appreciated. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button as well. There's a little button next to it, a little bell button to get notifications, email notifications, mobile notifications, blah 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 blah. But yeah, thanks for watching. Until next time, enjoy FM18, enjoy the rest of your day. See you very soon.